thank you and good morning everybody. Thank you for being here um, to be present here. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank AMSET, uh, uh, which has uh, uh, helped us uh, in the study by putting at our disposal the essential data, which has uh, enabled us uh, to uh, have uh, access to a certain number of information which were critical for the conduct of this study here. And also, I uh, would also like to thank uh, uh, you for giving us an opportunity to make a presentation of this work which is ongoing and the objective of this presentation is mainly uh, uh, to enable you at the end of this presentation uh, Enable you as DGs uh, to have a feedback, to make a feedback because we are going to uh, present uh, in the framework of this study some comparison between you. So it is important also, it has some shortcomings for you to be able to fill the gaps. You can also uh, challenge uh, some statements that are made uh, in regards to the analysis that we made. This is also the objective of the uh, consultation or this presentation. So this presentation, second thing, I also uh, would like uh, uh, to uh, thank uh, Jean-Pierre Alex uh, because uh, we have worked together, Jean-Pierre, but honestly speaking, uh, if uh, it had not been him and if we did not have the relation of trust that we have and the uh, friendship relationship, no uh, consultant would uh, have been available uh, uh, because honestly speaking, when I started this uh, study and it is uh, uh, following a request that was expressed uh, in a uh, workshop uh, here in ASEP but also in Libreville, Gabon, I have to say that uh, it was a commitment uh, on my, uh, on the, um, on, on, uh, because I did not have enough uh, time available uh, to sit at the office and to start writing as I used to do in the past because this is a very uh, a specific uh, exercise which is very different from the management of project which all its a logistic aspect. Uh, if it were not for Jean-Pierre who had helped me in this business, I honestly would not have been able to do it. Uh, so I have to recognize the um, merit he has uh, for helping me to be at this level even though it is still a work that has not been yet fully completed. Uh, so this uh, study uh, relates on the activities, uh, challenges uh, in uh, Africa and uh, there are two aspects in this work. Uh, the first one is that uh, we have some uh, general considerations or observations on the whole of the place and the evolution employment services in Pakistan, Africa. The second point is that uh, we make some comparisons between the various countries. We do them um, because we don't have uh, enough information uh, sometimes uh, also. We do it by highlighting a certain number of uh, uh, achievements um, in a certain number of countries, for certain number of SPE, uh, and of course, uh, for those who are not mentioned, are countries that do not have the same achievement. It is for this that I really insist on the fact that uh, following this presentation, you can make a feedback, you can make some criticisms uh, on the document that would be given to you on a flash drive for you to make comments and challenge any idea that you may feel fit. Uh, Uh, the data, as I said, uh, um, the document on which we have worked are the uh, World uh, a Survey of Answer and the Questionnaire that was sent by ILO uh, in April 2013. Uh, we have taken some time, uh, but this is also uh, related to our availability and also we did not have any feedback from some institutions. We also have the contribution of SPE in the regional uh, uh, workshop, the content of the website, when we can have access to it. Uh, and when they are fed in terms of information, um, if there are internal documents that belong to SPE, and also we have the uh, report from the mission and field studies that have been used as well. Uh, what we have noted also, as you all know, there are very little publications on the activities of the SPE, uh, internal and external. We have also problems of data. We often say that in our uh, workshops uh, that uh, there are internal procedures with the SPE for information exchange that worked with some, but we did not work very well with others, uh, mainly uh, with uh, some deadline uh, with 
got the response of the questions uh, and uh, we had to uh, launch to uh, uh, ask people to respond again and again. On the study itself, uh, uh, after what I've just said, uh, we have tried to look at the uh, social background, but this is not the objective of the study, but you know, you can understand the activities of the SBE or the mission of the SBE without going uh, through the uh, um, analysis of the economic uh, and social background. We have also made an overview of the SBE. Uh, we can see uh, how their mission has progressed as evolved this time in relationship with the uh, evolution of the public interventions in terms of employment and more particularly in terms of uh, a policy of the maker of the market of the labor market. And then we get into the uh, content. Uh, uh, we have tried to, to see, the, we made an analysis of the uh, uh, employment services that uh, you see, uh, Jean-Pierre, in his presentation, talk about that, that beyond uh, the presentation uh, that we are going to do. I would like to read it because I think that there are some uh, analysis uh, that have been made that are fine-tuned, uh, that have been improved, uh, so this is a bit, uh, that has been uh, fine-tuned and refined by uh, um, Jean-Pierre, I would say, uh, and uh, I uh, think that it is worthwhile you to read it. Uh, so it will be from your feedback that we may be able to confirm that we have just tried to make an analysis, the second aspect on the service providers, after on uh, interpretation, the component, and so on. The, 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 the second function of the uh, employment service is to provide employment. That's the number of analysis. We also have the public uh, service, uh, public employment services have a function of management in a certain number of uh, in order to enable young people to be a mainstream. And we have made an analysis of the measures made by the various SPE. Uh, the fourth uh, function is the organization. Is the, uh, um, we have reviewed the, the means uh, that you have uh, in order to achieve the various missions that are yours. Uh, and you can see here there are a number of information which are not enough, but yet will help to bring in uh, enough uh, lights, uh, enough information for you in relation to the where you are individually speaking in terms of SBE in relation also to the other uh, public employment uh, services uh, that also we made a certain number of recommendations that are general recommendations. It is not a uh, uh, um, recommendation by the SBE individually uh, because uh, uh, that would be very complex and uh, difficult, uh, uh, and as you know, a comparative, uh, comparative study uh, is very not easy, as we have 15 countries, uh, uh, it would be a bit exaggerated to do so. So, on the economic and social background, uh, to go very fast, uh, you all know uh, the uh, this context, uh, you know it perfectly. There is a great variety of territories, and we have DRC, for example. Um, uh, you also have Burkina Faso, Benin, and Togo. There are territories that are not the same at all, they are very different, and the uh, state also, the challenges in terms of employment are not the same. Um, the challenges, for example, are covering a country like a DRC. Uh, Covering uh, Benin is not the same in terms of intervention capacity, proximity services in relation to the job seekers and companies. Uh, you also know that there is a predominance of the uh, informal sector in these countries. We uh, generally say that uh, the informal sector or the informal economy represents about 70 to 90 percent of the uh, uh, employment uh, in uh, these countries, uh, it is also for you a specific challenge uh, um, uh, in, in, the, uh, in order to uh, face the issue of the job seekers that you are dealing with. Uh, it's a problem, uh, but it also it is a problem of capacity to try to affect the uh, companies of the informal sector. 
this is also something uh, that uh, we will see here. There are also human development uh, index that are progressing, uh, that are improved. Uh, you also have some kind of uh, figures that are provided in this regard. Um, we also have a detailed comparative study uh, with active young population, a strong population participation in the labor market, uh, the, um, and also the uh, good ratio of the uh, young people who are at uh, working age. Uh, uh, you also have uh, an employment, an urban employment, uh, which is not just urban, and uh, for the rest, uh, you have also underemployment, which is very high as well as unemployment. I uh, will give you the floor, uh, Jean Pierre, on the emergence of employment in the national policies, and I will just uh, deal uh, with uh, some. Uh, 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 first of all, uh, I uh, would like to uh, uh, good morning to all of you. Uh, during these uh, last two days, uh, you can see uh, how happy I was to be with you again uh, to find my uh, former friends uh, who are DGs in various countries. It is so that if the, this uh, study uh, is a bit complex, uh, it is it has the advantage of enabling me to maintain the links with you. Uh, so, this uh, second uh, session of the study uh, uh, relates uh, on relates to the uh, evolutions. I uh, uh, was uh, rely on various publications in this field, uh, mainly uh, the one from Camille Muti. If we look at the uh, evolution of the SPEs, uh, we can see, and this is quite, quite clear, um, that the uh, growing importance uh, uh, that the government have now on the issues of employment, you as specialists, I'm not teaching you anything, I'm not going to give you the detailed reasons of why uh, um, the uh, harmful effect of the uh, structural adjustment policies and so on, and people uh, have uh, ended up by understanding that employment was important for development. Uh, we can mention two major events, but there are many others. But it is true that uh, since the extraordinary summit of Guadalupe, uh, things uh, have really uh, changed, uh, have changed a lot. And we have also dealt with. Uh, um, with the issue of the way that the uh, uh, public employment services has reacted in that context, uh, and we uh, have um, have shown two things. For me, we have the 1980s with the issues of uh, uh, the increasing unemployment, where the public employment services uh, at world level, I would say, uh, uh, had uh, to question themselves or were questioned or were criticized in relation to their efficiencies and outcome. And Africa, in that regard, uh, has not been spared. Um, the second point of that evolution, this appeared in the 1990s and 2000, and this also was related and this coincided with the uh, setting up of AMSEF. Uh, um, the uh, leaders of the uh, SPE uh, who uh, um, asked themselves. Uh, um, or reacted in relation to the uh, crisis, uh, and that's why they uh, put themselves into associations, exchange ideas and practices, uh, and everybody knows that uh, we can only progress when there are resistance, and you know, there, are some, there was some resistance, uh, and the uh, public employment services main of Africa mobilized themselves in order to uh, face the situation. And then you can see that we have also dealt with in this chapter uh, something very important, which is the uh, inclusion of partnership or the development of partnership. The survey, which was carried out by AMSEP in 2013 and which was published in 2014, in the answers that you gave you as the managers of the public employment services, we realized that Africa is one of the regions of the world where the uh, partnership is uh, uh, has been more developed, uh, was most developed. Uh, yes, today we had some examples uh, as one of the uh, uh,
of the uh, areas of Lomé, uh, job center in Lomé, um, trade center in Lomé. Uh, we also have uh, an extension of the public uh, services towards the external world. In the previous decade, that was not the case because we were in a position of a kind of isolation, a kind of hot press with the monopoly. Um, we have also uh, dealt with. Uh, uh, we have dealt with also another section, uh, which is uh, the evolution of the, uh, the series or the range of uh, service services service provided, uh, and also the intermediation services. What have what have been noted? Uh, I will very we go very fast because you know very well. But we have to say it as well. We have dealt with the question of. Uh, Putting uh, workers and employers in a relationship, networking them. Uh, we have the job seekers, but also the company, um, those who uh, set up companies, the issue of the labor market, and uh, also their guidance uh, or counseling. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I uh, was going a bit faster. Um, so let's repeat again here. Uh, what can we see? What have we noted? Uh, uh, we also have a lot of proximity services with some alternative uh, improvements, but which are very limited. The procedures of registration uh, today are essentially manual. That is to say that uh, this is done in the form of forms. Uh, Today, we will resort to electronic uh, uh, tools uh, in terms of interviews. We can see uh, Edmond told us yesterday that it was not very simple. Uh, we can say that many countries have put on the uh, um, employment services in Burkina Faso, in Benin, in Mali, uh, and so on. Other countries, uh, also in Senegal, uh, who uh, have worked on tools of type of access, for example, access tools in Gabon, but also in Senegal, uh, which is a, uh, we also have the system of NPE information. So there are many others, of course, I have not put them all here on the slide. The second thing also, which is quite very clear, is the links with the companies. Uh, the uh, setting up of uh, planning tools, but also of the uh, monitoring of the prospection, uh, but also what I said a while ago, uh, development of partnership with the uh, companies uh, in most of the countries. Uh, this is something extremely important and visible. Uh, support services toward uh, salary job, uh, paid, paid uh, jobs. Uh, the approach can be individual and collective, but uh, this uh, is uh, related mainly to the reduced means that you have in order to implement your mission, to carry out your mission. We have some achievements. These are a few data that I have collected with regard of the achievements uh, that you made in Benin, in Cote d'Ivoire, in Faso, in Niger. Uh, in Central Africa, in Togo, they are not comparable because they do not relate to the same people. I think I want to tell you that you just can tell us your achievement, uh, how much you've done, and on which period, and this would be mainstreamed in the study without any problem. I also would like to tell you that in this regard, we had some problems in finding uh, 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 data. Uh, um, this is important. The data is important. Uh, uh, what is important in the data in the study, and which we could not do, was to uh, report uh, your activities, uh, whether it is uh, the support services uh, or the uh, active policies that you are managing. To try to compare those data with the uh, active population of your countries in order to see what are uh, what is the penetration capacity that you have uh, in relation to the market, uh, labor to the labor market uh, in Algeria, Morocco? Uh, if you do some intermediation there, these are elements of analysis which are very uh, enlightening. But there, unfortunately, we have some uh, um, incomplete data. Um, but if you give us the information on that, we will be able to. 
complete this study and that was very useful to you because this study is for you and it is also uh, destined, uh, the purpose of the study is also uh, to enlighten the work that you are doing and comparison with the other countries. It is for you, it is not for Versa. Uh, these are for you some arguments when you make a report, uh, for example, uh, between the population uh, uh, to whom you have to take care of and the achievements and the means that you have. Uh, um, this is an argument. Uh, the uh, greatest majority of the SPE uh, uh, provides services for self-employment. Uh, so you are very mobilized on uh, self-employment uh, um, in terms of collective uh, service provided. You also have spaces for uh, the creation of uh, employment. Uh, we have the uh, Center for Employment in Cameroon, the uh, corporate service, the corporate center. I also know that NFP uh, uh, was a uh, company space. Uh, these are various experiences uh, that you have put in place in order to promote the creation of companies or to any people to get jobs. Uh, so we have also worked on the uh, proximity uh, service providing, um, the generalized uh, and the generalization of the distance service providing. You make the information available online uh, on the table that you have there, which I'm presenting here. We made an analysis of the content uh, of the information which are accessible online on your portals, electronic portals. Uh, when you have one, because uh, all the countries do not have, but uh, and now this is something which is being shared. Many countries have it. Uh, so we have looked at these uh, various attendance. Uh, this table, uh, personally, I found it very important and interesting because it uh, have a have global vision on what you are putting on your website and you can see that each and everybody do not put the same thing. And I was saying that uh, you can, uh, be, it can be very practical in terms of experience sharing. One uh, specificity on which we can ask questions so if I understand, for example, uh, your study is geared towards the public uh, because you, uh, what you presented yesterday uh, was uh, uh, important. Uh, are you putting some information for your customers, for your users, for example, the address of agencies and of your location, or do you just put in information that is centered, uh, saying who you are and uh, what you are doing, but you not tell to your customers what you are proposing them. So uh, this is just a kind of question to you which you can try to answer. And also, uh, we have a second level, uh, which are the interactive services online. Uh, for example, uh, can I register, uh, can I pre-register, are there any employment uh, service offered, uh, can I meet you, and so on and so forth. So there are also uh, uh, things that are developed uh, in this uh, field. Can I send my CV, and so on and so forth. Uh, we have also looked uh, at uh, um, um, by doing a kind of uh, gross analysis because it's dated uh, September 15. We have looked at the employment offers on your website. When you publish them, you can see that there are very important gaps here between the countries, uh, the countries that uh, disseminate or that uh, inform on the employment services. It does not mean that all of them are updated. Some countries, for example, who publish uh, employment which are two years old and uh, in uh, of course this information is not operational because it is uh, too old uh, uh, section four that's for you Fabier or myself uh, whose turn is it now this is a mission for the BES, which is very related to its mission of intermediation on the labor market, we have a request for information which is increasing. So, be it for from institutional partners of BES, I mean Ministry of Employment, or social partners who are uh, employers, employers, and also we have. Uh, an increase in demand from employers with regard to the need of recruiting, with regard to available uh, labor. 
and recruitment of companies post that are likely to be proven and we also have other players on the work employment markets. Now we get to the institutional response and everywhere in the region concerning the countries of UMOA, developments of observatory for employment with uh, situations that are variable or vary from one country to another but we try to categorize them even if we have some nuances within these categories with regard to the different country situations. So we have um, observatories that are hosted by the public services, the case of Djibouti, Benin, Burkina. If I'm talking about different situations, sometimes they have uh, a status of uh, department within these uh, public PES. Sometimes it is a general directorate. So uh, it says a lot of things with regard to the functions operation of these observatories. Concerning the means, uh, financial means management and the capacity, its capacity to disseminate information, these observatories, um, most of you, you know about these, these observatories, they are not, their main uh, objective is not to produce any data, of course they can do that, but they are not statistical bodies. Their function is to produce studies, to conduct analysis and also to enlighten decision makers as well as job seekers and employers. We have peculiar cases of evolution towards the independent work. This is the case of Mali. Mali conducted two intro trips, so to speak. At a given point of time, there was uh, uh, this department was attached to the public service of employment, but it was having um, it was autonomous, and it became a department of PES, and it's lost a lot of this autonomy, and its service provisions were having no longer good quality, especially if we get to documents produced and regularity of these productions and it is going towards a different statute which should be status which is an independent observatory. Togo for the time being is being attached to PES, Public Employment Service, but the aim I mean, they have a very affirmed intention and it's regularly addressed, but it's Director General to give to this um, body an independent form status, maybe uh, maybe public department with administrative character. We also have competitive, you know, situations that are linked to the history in Togo when this Ministry of Employment was created. Also, this PES or Agency of Employment was also created. Whereas. FNO, I mean, I'm talking about Cameroon, not Togo. This FNO was, produced, was producing information, so we have competitive situation within the same country, Cameroon, between what is being produced in terms of information about the public service of uh, employment PES and what is being produced by the observatory of employment and professional information. Having said, this, these observatories, they also have situations that can vary from one country to another country in terms of their nature, nature of uh, the services provision. Because if you have observatories on employment, so we can have these within this PES, which uh, produces information for PES. But this unit also feeds into general, more general analysis 
that have been conducted on another observatory, which is outside. And we also have uh, autonomous uh, observatories, for instance, the situation in Burkina Faso. And we don't have any observatories of implement in Congo, DR Congo. Uh, it's not a negative situation, it's a negative thing. You know, having observatories does not mean that you're going to produce analysis, regular and relevant analysis. Secondly, you can you may not have observatories um, but be able to produce interesting analysis for partners of PES, for the users or customers, job seekers for instance, and companies. So we don't have any model of organization. What is very important is the choice made, that is our organization choice, actually allows to produce effectively studies and analysis that are expected from the partners of PES and customers. Now, another section of Paramount's importance concerning the active measures that are managed by the Public Employment Services, PES. What we can see, first of all, is that we have a variable of functions. I mean, the need, or I mean, the level of uh, increase of salary, and then a very high request for jobs on the labor markets, and we the salary employment, the capacity, economic capacity of the company to integrate such a labor, we have some differences inside. So we have uh, an offer of service of intimidations which is not always adapted to the economic and social treatments of uh, most destitute population. Now, the active policies on the labor employment market play plays a role which is of different nature different from what they do play, the role they play in industrialized countries. In Europe, for instance, the active policies are policies that are cyclical. It means that when the situation of unemployment, of employment uh, gets improved, is going to diminish, we're going to diminish the measures and when it is deterioration, it increases. It's not the same thing in Africa. We rather have in place policies that are messages, you know, um, hope mes messages to the intention of the population or most destitute category, especially the youth. And uh, to the public Opinion, the messages we know about your situation, we are doing everything possible just to help you. And also giving hope to the population in one way or the other, facilitating the social links is very important. The risk is that you may disappoint people because if you're promising, if you don't hold your promise, then you are disappointing people. So these measures. Uh, these services, these active measures in one way or the other, they are sustainable and they vary a lot from one to another once because we have a lot of programs with regard to training and insertion, adaptation through training to the need of um, the companies, creation of um, creation of a person of his own enterprises. We have PES that are very committed in the promoting of employment, independent employment, and you know about this. But what we have observed is that most of you, they are less involved, you are less involved in high in labor intensity. Uh, because whereas all these are uh, touching the most destitute population. Maybe there might be compensation. You should know what role you are playing. You can have a guidance role. You don't manage, but you can direct, you know, or 
the label or job seekers towards this program or that program. So to position yourself in regard to this type of programs, of course. One thing which is important, we have a lack of um, visibility with regards to the performances and the impact of these measures. So it's um, a problem for you, it's a problem for the public authorities in general, and you cannot steer these measures and find adopted measures if you don't have the necessary capacities to be able to measure the impacts of the measures that you are rolling out at tea time, for instance. So this is a very important subject which refers us to data, having data. So this is a something that we have observed as well. So here you have it's not very visible. We tried to in this table to show the three categories of active measures that we have shortlisted. If you look at the work being done by OECD on the active policies, the typology is a bit different. So here we have three main types of active measures in you know, a training, insertion, self-employment, and we distributed them by country concerning the number of measures. So you're going to find comparison elements um, that might interest you and if you have missed out on something, please tell us for us to be able to remedy to this. So active measures, they occupy a peculiar place in the activities of the public employment services. So what is very important uh, to me? I, I have to record Alin Jara in Africa this on the role of uh, intermediation, they don't play that role. I don't share this totally with him, I don't agree with him. But uh, he said that they have a mission of promotion of employment through measures. I agree with him. So we can see that the mission of placement um, will be the second mission will be to promotion of employment. So evolution, even if you have activities, we saw this with the services that are their significance with regard to placement. This inversion or refers it has consequences for PES. You have a mission Chip, you have legitimacy, only or can chip, you know, legitimacy with regards to the placement. You know, um, the justification for B is it is get closer to make closer offer and supply, demand and supply. So they, they participate in one way or the other, getting this relationship closer. So the question to you is. What are your capacities to well manage this mechanism of insertions in employment in a government which is more competitive, an environment which is very competitive with a very high expectation of the public authorities, of your ministers? We can see that without mentioning any examples, peculiar examples, you, I can see that you often, you face often you face with your ministers, you, um, you know, discuss uh, around your achievement. Sometimes they might lead out to a resignation of the director general. Of course, there's a high expectation from the customers as well and the job seekers and companies and the public opinion in general general speaking, for instance, if you have events, a social event, the BES, sometimes they are being um, attacked. We saw this in the studies, for instance, in Central African Republic, the same in Faso in the past. I think when this took place, this vandalization. So I can Concerning, well, they have analysis we're going to see and uh, that's the bit of different country situations, the programs that you're managing. And uh, so we are expecting your feedback as well on these and also recommendations. We have uh, diversifies uh, and uh, 
two succinct methods and the issue of your capacities. Capacity to manage programs and also to evaluate these programs. So qualitative capacity, we are, I mean, not only the number, but the nature of skills that you need when we are talking about capacity to manage. Under section six, we're going to talk about something on which or to which you are very sensitive. That is the means that you have in order to discharge the missions assigned to you. Three things autonomy of, of financial management and roles of social partners. This can be seen under the historical parts. And this has been indicated already during the workshop. Um, the PES, most of them, well, they are in the situation of uh, financial autonomy and they have the capacity for management autonomy or capacities. Another thing is not all the case, it's not the case of all the countries, but for a good number of them, these mechanisms, their mechanisms are quite complex with multiple methods of funding. Well, it's due to the fact that you are seeking always money in order to achieve your missions and predominance of active program compared to generalist job offers. These are these tables contain the answers. So we will get to the answer to survey. Where do you get your budget? In the answers that we give to us, we can see that for a lot of countries, the main part of the budget comes from the implementation of the uh, active measures. It corroborates what has been said by John Paul earlier on. It's gearing towards, well, but this is coming from the programs. Concerning investment, the human resources, so we can also see that, especially in the past, recent years, the important investment, quantitative and qualitative, in the human resources. In this table, we have a survey. When we conducted the survey in 2011, and the other one in 2014, this helped us make comparison between your know, workforce for people who answered the uh, surveys in 2011-2014. We realized that in the exception of some, especially the former ones, uh, it's obvious that the young employment service, for instance, in Benin and Togo, and the old ones, for instance, in Burkina Faso, the evolution of the workforce is very effective, but it's not the same thing. We realized that there was a very important effort from your ministries, responsible, responsible ministries, your states, maybe you explain this to them, telling them that that is why yeah, the workforce or the number of people increased significantly. And the develop capacity development activities also increased. This was playing earlier on by John Jean Paul. You have, you know, supplementary number of people, fine. But you also he made in important investments in capacity building. This can be seen everywhere. Of course, we have the cooperation funds with Lumset, the work which is being done by ILO. We began to train in the officials, all the activities that you can develop for employment, for training of your staffs, the teams, of course. It is 
are very important investments in the training for the teams. There are also gaps between the population and human beings. You can find tables which generate reports between or compared between the human means compared to the number of unemployed and unemployed and compared to your active population. So I third characteristic not only lack of means but you also have you have proportionally and comparatively with regard to the other PES from industrialized country you globally have a more administrative tasks than elsewhere. Alternatives are linked to the distribution of human resources. What did you try to do? We tried to cross two criteria. You number of staff and the number of advisors that we have on the field. This is one of the answers to Amset survey. The number of uh, officials, local officials that we have. Do you have a lot of people? Do you have uh, lots of local agents or lawyers? Now, let me go to the charts now. We identified four typical situations. You have a number of implementation local agencies RGP they are not here so I'm not going to take the example but let me take the example of uh, CFPE because they are present in this room if uh, well understood on your side you have five agencies local agencies and the figure of the number of police officials mid category Staff, and we see that we have four types of configuration. Configuration where you have less officials and less implementations, and we have other configurations where you have more officials, agents. For instance, in the Bonway and Apeige or Anapeige in Mauritania, but not a lot of uh, implementations. For instance, in Mauritania, you have only two. You also have situations whereby. This is the case of Lone and Bay of Benin or Togo, where you have a higher number, which is higher than 10 implementations, but in these implementation situations, we have, you have very less stuff. And the end of the situation, whereby we find, such as in Congo, in Burkina Faso, generally, it is the most ancient and the number of implementations higher than 10 and the uh, uh, number of uh, your officials higher than 10. Based on this configuration, you see that you are not facing the same issues. We can see this in the answers which were given out. For instance, let me take the case of Benin. And note that setting all also is in the same domain, same direction. You are developing partnerships for of implementation, making such a way that uh, you can call, call them kiosk or centers of employment. Uh, you have to forge partnerships. Uh, sometimes you have to call upon service providers. Now, what Jean Paul was saying earlier on, you're going to find two types of uh, recommendations, especially on the fields of domains concerning programs, concerning services and means. And we have, we have done, we have done, touched on something which is very cross-cutting related to uh, management of your organization. Here we have tackled the different aspects of management. Now, the management of customers, the relationships that we have with your customers, the recommendation is to continue enlarging the uh, number of provision, service provisions and enlarge your services to cover wider geographic areas concerning services. These are the three areas of the relationship between you and your customers will be increased. With regard to uh, management with your external networks, 
when we see how you progressed uh, during the past 10 years, of course, it's obvious that you there are lessons that you can actually draw. Uh, maybe during our workshop, but it is true that today you have a lot of material to discuss the implementation and importance of the interests of your partnerships. So you can see that you are developing any sorts of uh, partnerships. You have partnerships that are at a local level, be closer to your users. You also have partnerships of improving upon services, how to have best uh, services which uh, service provider you also have partnerships of uh, information sharing partnerships of innovation we realize that everything all these they are uh, moving in so i'm very uh, i find it very interesting that you're making question also management of teams management of human resources and you still have to continue investing in the teams what they are doing Good luck to the center of training that we have established through the Armstead Cooperation Funds. Management of the production there, it is very crystal clear. It's a priority. Priority is computerization. Absolute priority. If you want to broaden and improve upon the quality of the service, computerization is key. And finally, and this is very clear, so it's very interesting to have a look at the 10 years of evolution of BES. This is an evolution towards strategic management. So you're entering on the uh, policy strategies. A lot of you, you are developing, developing plans, but you are reflecting on where you're going. You try to see the consistency with the policies of employment. So we try to see, as it was done in Burkina Faso, on the relevance and the use of expenditures, how to make it more profitable. Uh, Jean Paul, I'm done. I forgot to say something. Uh, that the study is carried out in the framework of a program of uh, ILO, which is called uh, uh, Support the Program in Poverty Alleviation, which many of you know about, which is funded by uh, France. Uh, and then, as such, uh, it is uh, in line with the second part of the project that ends at the end of the year. So, some uh, the resources are available and the publication has to be done before the end of this year. Uh, so we are going to give you the uh, electronic flash drive uh, with a uh, study. It is a study which is an uh, ongoing. There are still some clerical mistakes, uh, but it's a quite a minor issue. But there are aspects that we need to develop. For example, on the economic and social aspect, uh, there are possibilities of reducing it uh, because we have something like 100 or 150 as well as the lot. Uh, so we need to reduce the uh, volume uh, to do that part uh, on the uh, professional. So I need to make some kind of additions or add on. So we need to reorganize the whole uh, thing. I'm saying this because uh, there is still some work that must be done, that has to be done. And this we think uh, will be fed uh, by your various contribution. And uh, on the contrary, uh, there is a part three working on the uh, services, active policies, which may not uh, be a change, but also the funding parts, uh, which I think uh, it uh, something uh, rather complete, even though we can bring in some slight modification of changes. Another observation is that uh, I know that it is uh, a short, uh, but it will give you the document uh, by uh, uh, flash with, uh, in flash drives. So we want you to send us your observation and feedback. You should appoint somebody in your services to do so before, I think within 15 days. 
I know it's not quite very long, but uh, uh, we do not want uh, to uh, uh, go beyond that deadline. But once it is published, uh, we do not want it to say that this is not true, this is false, and so on, on the FBS and so on, which I'm matching. So that would be published, so we want you to, uh, to read it. You have to put somebody on it uh, to check, uh, um, to make sure that uh, the look at the document. It is not worth going on the uh, economic aspects and so on, but you go straight to the point, look at the services, at the policy, look at the budget, and then you can feed us back, uh, um, tell us what you think. Uh, so, in practical terms, uh, may I know, just a suggestion, do not wait to read everything to send. Uh, you do it as you do it, uh, so you see that you made a mistake here, we forget to know that. Uh, you have our mail, so you send a mail immediately, a warning mail, uh, so that we may be interested that immediately. If you wait after the end, uh, you, you, it's a document uh, that is more than 150 pages. We were supposed to have uh, a final version on the 31st of October, uh, because in the uh, framework of ILO, we have to make a review uh, by two people, uh, one uh, being uh, generally from the department that produced uh, the uh, document at IAGO and uh, one being an external uh, person or consultant. Uh, and there is also uh, uh, time for the document to be reviewed. Uh, so if you really want to be in line with the time frame uh, which is set, uh, and if you want your feedback, uh, the information concerning your country be as accurate as possible. You have to do this uh, extra mile, this efforts of reading the book, or reading the document, and then bringing in the correction that you would like to uh, uh, have. Another clarification: Christine will give you one flash drive per country, either to a DG or to his representative, and then after it is the DG, after having read the document, uh, will see to whom he can uh, give it. Uh, so we will just give one plus drive to one country, uh, but we can make sure that it is a DT and we can decide of what 